This channel would not exist without my editor. He has wanted a Pokemon Go master set since we started this channel. It's time for his dreams to come true. We're building his master Pokemon Go binder. I am so excited for this video. We have been planning this video for quite some time. This is essentially a video to my editor. Hello there. Who of course is now very well aware of what is going on. We won't be doing the card trick for uh, most of today's packs because we just have so many beautiful cards to get through. Oh, is that a ditto? No, it's not. And of course, oh, there's a new Mel and a Pikachu for our rare and the rest of our beautiful cards. This is essentially a, uh, a love video to my editor. For those of you who do not know, my editor is, well, he's special in many ways. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. He is not only my editor. Oh, a beautiful Zapdos. Oh, and a Sylveon for our rare. Stunning there. And of course, our energy. He is actually also my husband. Um, I could not do this channel without him. And uh, he has been wanting to build this wonderful uh, Pokemon Go binder for quite some time. Actually, since we got into this, ooh, beautiful Tyranitar rare. Since we got back into Pokemon almost a year ago and this channel would simply not exist if it wasn't for him. And I have been secretly slow post, uh, have been secretly purchasing Pokemon Go cards kind of behind his back. And we, oh, Sylveon, a double already. Oh, and we've got our slow bro too. Oh, I'm so excited. And so I've been secretly kind of buying cards um, and ha I finally told him last night that we were gonna finally record this video and that this is what we were doing and that we were going to build this Pokemon binder and put it on the channel and I was so pumped. Blissey Pokemon, I love this Blissey, so stunning. And build this binder for him. And on top of being my editor uh, for this channel and our other channel, if you weren't aware, we yes, we have two channels on, uh, oh, I was gonna do the, the card trick there on YouTube, uh, but on top of that, he is also my full-time carer. And we have a hit, ooh, a Mel, Mel, Mel Metal VMAX. What a beautiful first hit in this opening. Let's take a look at it under the microscope. Mel Metal VMAX, I believe the only VMAX in this set Gosh darn it, you were special. So many packs still to go. We have just, I think it was 21 when I counted it. 21 packs to open today. And so, yes, he is my full-time carer. And on top of that, he spends all his time with me, of course, recording being my carer, working full time, recording and editing all of the videos. I am just a pretty face on camera. He does all of the work behind the scenes, making all of these things happen and it just would not exist without him. And so I thought it was about time that I gave him, oh, beautiful, this Radiant Blastoise. And so I am so excited. A Mewtwo V-Star. You should see him so excited behind the camera. Uh, I am so pumped to be able to finally be putting this binder together for him. Let's take a look at this beautiful V-Star under the microscope. Mewtwo V-Star. I can't wait to learn how to play this deck. Be careful with that psychic purge. So I am just elated that I'm finally able to make this absolutely happen. 
So please, please like this video and leave him a lovely comment in the comment section. This is just such a joy to be able to be doing. Ooh, Snorlax. I love a good sleeping Snorlax. We're gonna try and rip through the rest of these packs because we're actually gonna be showing you guys how I build a binder. Since we're building this binder uh, for my lovely editor, Mahane, uh, we are gonna show you guys how I build binders as well. I know a lot of you guys have had questions. Dragonite V, I got to love it. I love me a good Dragonite. Let's take a look at Dragonite under the microscope. Dragonite V, he might look mad, but gosh darn it, he's just too adorable. Oh my gosh, three pulls already and we're, we're still so many packs left to open. And you guys have may have seen <laughs> in the intro, we had an entire other stack of tins that I thought, oh my goodness, I'll get back to that in a second. A Radiant Venusaur, which if you guys didn't know, Bulbasaur is actually the editor's favorite card. Do we have a double? We do not, but what a beautiful card to add to the binder. Let's get into this next pack. I actually love this camera. It's a beautiful card. With 20 packs or 22 packs, we should be able to build all of the commons and uncommons, some of the reverses, if not a good chunk of them. I'm hoping to get a very large chunk of them actually. And ooh, we've got another V, the Mel Metal V this time around. That adds another V to the collection. We won't take a look at all of the Vs today, so we uh, we got the V Max. So we're gonna keep on moving on today because there's just so many packs to get through. I know we all love the microscope but we are going to be a little choosy with our microscopes today purely because there's just so many packs to get through and I really want to show you guys how we build those binders. Lapras! Oh, and the Lapras to go with it. Love it. Got to love me a good Lapras. Lapras is by far, ooh, another slow bro, by far in my top 10, in case you were wondering. You know, with Bulbasaur being one of one of the top contenders in this set, I think that's why. Um, and of course, Bulbasaur sitting right there. I think that's why the editor just absolutely loves this set. Lunatone. Oh my gosh! I can't believe we pulled it. I I we oh um, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. This is by far one of the most expensive cards in this set. I was like cringing if we didn't pull it, how we were going to finish this set. This is such good news. The Mewtwo V, the special, special card in this set. Let's, we got to take a look at this one under the microscope. Oh my goodness. Mewtwo V. This is just absolutely stunning. I don't know what city this is, but it just reminds me of New York. The editor has just told me I forgot to finish my tin story. So yes, when we uh, opened the tins, I thought they were our Pokemon. Oh, oh my goodness, I was gonna go back to our lovely woo, Charmander. The tins were supposed to be Pokemon Go tins. Uh, apparently I bought the wrong ones. And so they are not Pokemon Go tins. And so, uh, ooh, another Lapras. Um, and so, you know what? We were supposed to have 40 packs today. Um, we ended up with 22 and apparently that's totally okay because we are pulling cards like nobody's business today. But, um, you know, if, if we end up having to get some more cards down the road, we will. We'll see how things build out. Ooh, a good old slowpoke. Um, but uh, 
you know, you guys will have to come on the journey. Ooh, Zapdos, we have not pulled that one yet. Beautiful. There's the rest of them. No ditto there. I, I think we have pulled a ditto, but we'll have to, to look when we're building our binder today. Um, and so, yes, that's what happened with the tins. They have not just randomly disappeared. Um, they were supposed to be Pokemon Go. <laughs> and they were not. That's on me. Soul Rock. Ooh, and your regular good old Mel Metal with the rest of our cards there. Okay, four left before we get into our binder build and see where we're at with all of our cards. Can we pull another V or V Max? We've got some golds to find. What will we have in this pack? Ooh, we've got the reverse Pikachu. Oh, and the Golis Pod. I don't think we have this one yet. So that's a good pull. And the rest of those cards, which I think at this point are pretty much all duplicates, which is completely fine when you start pulling and opening this amount of packs. This is what happens, especially with an older set like Pokemon Go, Slowpoke. Okay, Spinarak. And oh, Radiant Blastoise, okay. Now, this is a duplicate that's going to be important later on um, because we do not have the Radiant Charizard yet, which I hope is in the next two packs, but oh my goodness. We have a duplicate V-Star. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. Okay, that's gonna give us some trade power now. Okay, that's good news, guys. That's good news because we are going to have to trade at some point for some cards. Okay. Good news, good news. I would have liked no doubles today. That would have been even better, but I will take a Mewtwo any day. I will take a Mewtwo any day. We will put that aside. And there is the rest of our cards. Two packs left. I would have taken a gold card too, but you know, we take what we are given. I will take any day. I can open up some good old Pokemon with you guys. Oh, no way. How is that possible? Oh, come on! Because it's for you, eh? Because it's for the editor. Because it's for... How? How? I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I don't, I, 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 no, no words. Can't pull a trainer from my life today, but apparently I can pull two Mewtwo V-Star alt arts sure oh my goodness only for the editor and i say that smirk across the camera and to my editor and not to you because this is just par for the course when it comes to him okay last pack before we go and build this beautiful binder what will it be articuno oh and the charizard so it's not the radiant charizard but we do need this card as well, so I will take it. We don't have this one yet. And the rest of these beautiful cards. Oh, and we finish on a slow burrow. I will take that. As much as I love opening Pokemon cards, this is by far one of my favorite parts in the entire collection process. Building a binder. Start by dividing all of your cards by energy type, leaving aside all reverses in one pile and all full arts in a separate pile. Now fill your binder in numbered order by leaving out the other two piles, your reverses and ultra rares or higher. Now that you finish that step, go back and put in all of the reverses that you have right on top of the commons and uncommons, leaving the commons behind the reverses. I find this is the easiest way to keep track of the commons you have by keeping the reverses on top, the reverse hollows are just a little bit nicer. Make sure to add all of your full arts, your ultra rares and higher from the very beginning all the way to the very end of your binder. So now for the fun part, our very first ultra rare we're putting in is our wonderful Mewtwo V-Star. So it's gonna be going in right there. First ultra rare in. 
And then our next one, which is 48. Where does 48 go? 46, 47, 48. So we're coming down here. So 48 is coming and is going to be placed right here. Our Mel Metal VMAX. So that one's going right there. So next up, we've got number 18, which is our beautiful Radiant Blastoise, which is going right here. Stunning card. I can't believe we pulled two out of the three Radiants today. And then our next Radiant, which is our Radiant Venusaur, which is, oh, wrong spot. He is going to be going right here in number four. He looks so angry, but man, is he beautiful. Going right there. Next, we've got number 47, which is going to next to our Mel Metal V Max, Mr. Mel Metal V. And it just so happens that next to our Mel Metals, we have our beautiful Dragonite V, which is, oh, I love me some Dragonite. And last but not least, we have, well, one of my beautiful, I think it's my chase card for this set. I can't believe we pulled two of them today. The wonderful Mewtwo V getting its beautiful spot at the end of this page right here. Stay tuned for the next part in the journey of finishing and mastering the Pokemon Go Binder. It's going to be a heck of a journey. I hope you guys join us in the next edition. If you guys would like to keep on chasing on, click on this video next.